Le dernier virage passé, le maillot jaune pour personne attaque à la flamme rouge. C'est magique, c'est magnifique de voir Cancellara comme il l'avait fait à Compiègne au kilomètre attaqué à Compiègne, il avait gagné. Là, ça va peut-être être un peu plus compliqué. Compliqué parce que Peter Sagan et Edvald Bosonagen sont dans sa roue. Presque sans forcer, Peter Sagan règle l'addition pour les trois à 22 ans. Première participation, première étape en ligne, première victoire sur le tour, de la tête, des épaules et un peu des jambes aussi. Peter Sagan control this one because it's going to be, oh there's a crack in the middle, right and back on Soleil went down, that broken up the peloton, they are out of this now, Cancellara is trying to, Sagan is over the top, now he'll see the finishing line, is there any stopping this man as he kicks again, Boyson Hagen is on the right, Sagan is coming clear to win his second stage, he will consolidate his lead in the green jersey, and I think Uh, Cancellara will keep yellow as Sagan gets it. Cancellara close enough, probably a one second time gap. He's dancing all the way. Now it's down to the sprinters again. And if you look at the bottom of our picture, the green jersey that always followed Mark Cavendish, Peter Sagan, is now following Andre Greipel. Not a bad choice. Very good choice of wheel to follow inside of 1,000 meters to go. This is the big lead out train. Once again, we saw it successful already Ooh. in the Tour de France. A bumping of shoulders there as Alessandro. Andro Pataki tries to move up, one, two, three, four riders from Lotto Bellisol, but behind them, Orica Greenidge are now starting to line themselves up. Well, I think it was Kenny Van Hummel went shoulder to shoulder with Alessandro Pataki, but the boys from, uh, uh, of Greipel's team have started to open up the sprint for the line. It is a perfect lead out with all this firepower on the front. Can it be spoiled here? Andre Greipel is waiting till the last possible moment to be launched into the finishing line, but he's got to watch out. Oh, and the slip of gears by Magdos has cost him dearly. Something happened, maybe a broken chain, but they're running up towards the line now. This is Gossi, sorry. This is Magdos forcing the issue. And look at the run by Sagan as Sagan takes on Henderson. No, Greipel to the line. Peter Sagan is showing when the go it gets rough, this man wins. What an amazing... Gossimano, Benatti sitter rigtig godt. Til venstre bagved Akkersholkene. Så lancerer Lampre. Ja, der lukker inden 0-1, Sagan. Nu kører han hjem, Sabatini for ham, så bliver han... Ja, Benatti bliver til gengæld lukket. Sagan helt til højre. Ja, Sagan helt til højre. Navadowska spurter til venstre. Vjertkovski spurter med. Oh, den bliver for langt, den der på den kolde. Bjerkowski slap lige trådet et øjeblik. Der kommer Sagan. Der kommer Sagan til venstre. Og ser de ham igen. Benati til højre. Det bliver Peter Sagan. Og Benati bliver to. John saw his dream vanish. He was caught less than one kilometer to the finish line. It was Peter Sagan, third on Saturday, who was crowned over the other punchers. The Slovak won his fifth to the front. A good day for the green jersey in the points classification. And a good day for Chris Froome, who took time over his rivals at the GC. Philippe Gilbert, qui va tenter d'attaquer juste après la flamme rouge. Philippe ouais, Gilbert, fort, ouais, c'est une belle accélération de Philippe Gilbert. Faut pas laisser euh, 50 mètres à Philippe Gilbert. Philippe Gilbert trop court. Arnaud démarre trop long, peut-être dans son sprint. Démarre qui lance son sprint à 200 mètres de l'arrivée. Arnaud démarre en tête. Le retour de Peter Sagan. Arnaud démarre toujours en tête. Alexander Christophe, Peter Sagan. Et c'est Sagan. Ouais. Kalmajan tried to take the race on alone, but the peloton closed in and caught the escapees. Into the finishing climb, Richie Port was first, but with 400 meters to go, Peter Sagan and Dan Martin started to sprint. Michael Bling Matthews was there, but the world champion had everything under control. Mais Gaviria qui ne participera pas à ce sprint d'une vingtaine de, de coureurs seulement dans, dans ce groupe. Pour regarder, on retrouve Peter Sagan et vous l'avez dit, euh, Arnaud Desmar, le champion, l'ancien champion de France. Regardez pour l'équipe Groupe AMFDJ qui lance le sprint de, un peu trop tôt, 250 mètres de la ligne, et il va se faire euh, donc dépasser par le triple champion du monde, Peter Sagan, plus fort, plus puissant, et ce Nicole Brelli qui revient, mais Sagan sera pas. Il n'est pas facile de, de, le, 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 de lancer au bon moment. Arnaud démarre, encore un équipier qui s'écarte à 200 mètres de l'arrivée. Christophe passe, mais Sagan est bel et bien le plus fort. Il vient régler au sprint ses deux derniers adversaires dans la course au maillot vert. Mais rapidement, Sagan se détache. Well, Bernard in the white jersey. Bosenhagen is out of it. Trentin now goes. Sturven shoulder to shoulder. It is Sagan in green. Van Avermaet battling. Peter 
Sagan. He gets the dozen. It's win number 12.